Guardian Slushy, and welcome to the Town of Light. What's happened? I don't know. I just clicked what play. Is this place? Again, I have no goddamn Maybe. idea. Maybe I'm dead. It's a possibility. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. Probably so. I can't get up. What's going on? What's happening to me? What is with the demonic noises I'm hearing? There's no one here. But these noises. God, my head is killing me. Okay. I can't keep my eyes open. I'm feeling you, because it's 3 a.m. right now, which I thought was the perfect time to play a horror game. What better time to play a horror game than 3 a.m.? Inspired by real events. Yeah, you mentioned that once before. Volterra, Tuscany. 2016! That's what's up! I don't know what the significance of that year is, but okay. Yeah, let's get... Yeah! Yeah, yeah, spin the damn thing. Oh, I thought we were going to go for a little... Whatever. Get on the little seesaw. Let's get off the seesaw. Apparently you can't do any of these damn things. What's the sprint button exactly? Okay, let's try to climb the swing. Or the ladder. The, the slide. Not the ladder. It's the, it's a slide. Down we go. Wee. So much excitement, right? I've never felt so such joy in my entire miserable fucking life. Open to close. Open to use. Alright. Thanks for that valuable, very valuable information. Yeah, toggle the flat. I was about to say, it's a little dark in here. I can't handle this darkness already. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Alright, open up. Hmm, let's see. First food rationing improvements. On April 20th, bread rations increased by 50 grams per day, an extra kilogram per month of soup products, agricultural laborer treatment, reform, and extraordinary marmalade distribution. Cool. I guess. Nice. What's this? I don't even know that name. Gula K. Distressed, but held up by their faith. Nice. Her mother, Irene E., father, E.R. Eirik, and sister, Martha, deliver the grievous news. The funeral will take place in La Romola on Sunday, April 16th, 3.30 p.m., starting from the house of the deceased, April 13th, 1944. Okay, cool information. Fierce murder in San Casciano, April 14th, 1944. Okay. A young woman from a respectable family was brutally murdered near her home. Murdered? Police are investigating a possible political motive emerges. Okay. Okay. All right. Incredible anti-aircraft victory. 159 aircraft shot down in 24 hours by the German Continental Air Defense. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoys scattered in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Open up this fridge. What's in? What's the... God. <laughs> Hepatitis is in that fridge. I don't want none of that. I found some notes, some clippings. I mean, other than that, though. Not much. <laughs> Still no sprint feature. Cool. This game's gonna take a while to get from point A to B. Oh, I can just go straight through the gate. That That's helpful. Can I pick this flower? Why is there just one beautiful looking flower? That was somewhat startling. Ugh. Ugh. All the all the wrong vibes. I mean, it's a horror game, so I should. It's the right vibe. The town of light. It's gonna be the town. I saw something. I heard something too. I heard a thing. What was that? Oh, this fence got knocked down. I see. So did that just randomly happen? Because I happen to be in the area. How? Yeah. Memories. Mm-hmm. Right. Your point being? Alright. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a little cranky right now. Like I said, it's, it's late at night. I, get, I, I do get a little cranky. If there's one thing you must know about slush, late at night, I get cranky. Okay? I get real cranky. 
No. No. No good. What's over here? Ooh, a dark room. Get what I mean? Because it's dark. It's not like a photography dark room. It's. Oh, there's no way in hell am I going to read all that. No. Marital status widow admitted on May 30th, 1916. Okay, so dementia. Well, that's the main point. It was dementia. Admitted because of dementia. That's no good. Let's open this bad boy up. What's the? What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? What's in this bad boy? Ooh, a note. Add it to the synopsis menu. <gasps> I got the first page. I got the. F Let's check it out. Oh, cool. Well, son of a bitch. I'm not. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make it through this game much longer. The only thing I but I'll try. Clearly is for you guys, your doll. Is that really what we're here for? Nobody says we can't. Let's find Charlotte. Calm women, really? That's the name of the ward? Okay. Let's find Charlotte. She's alone. She's alone in the dark. You motherfucker. Would Charlotte be in one of these rooms? I'm basically playing this game on 30 minutes of sleep because the night before recording this video, I don't know when I'm going to upload this, the night before recording this video, I, I literally only got 30 minutes of sleep. Oh, God. This If, there, if there's going to be any scares in this game, I assure you I will piss my pants. So it's a good thing I went to the bathroom before recording this because pants will be pissed. That's a fact. If a random jump scare just happens, oh, God, fuck me. Renee doesn't want to abandon her, huh? You know what I want? I want some goddamn sleep. Why did I, why did I do this to myself? What are these noises I'm hearing? Is this a horror game or is it just more like a, an interactive game? I mean, I don't know which route it's going to go, honestly. I really don't. I hope it's more of a horror game because that's what I've been expecting. But then again, I have expected certain things from certain games and been mildly disappointed. So I really don't know what to expect at this point. I don't like the music. Again, it's supposed to be happy, cheerful music. And I'm not getting those vibes. I'm getting like evil, demonic gonna get attacked by a monster kind of vibes you know the vibes you know the goddamn vibes come on come on you know the vibes all right let's get the hell out of here <gasps> there's the doll we found the goddamn doll and it's bright Mommy as hell took good care oh of god she tucked her in hugged her gave her cuddles and kisses you are one disturbing fucker she was okay. very affectionate and loving and demonic. Don't leave that one out. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and that surprised me. I didn't understand. I'm surprised the baby. First, I'm surprised to get scared. thrown into that roaring so fire that there. She wanted to hurt me. Are we just gonna carry this doll around for the remainder of the game? How old are we that we need it's a damn cold. doll? It's dark. Look, she's cold. She'll get ill. She's a doll. He can take okay. care of her. Nobody She's a doll. What is this? Wowzer, what the fuck was that? What is going on in this place? This is one freaky as hell place, dude. Come on, elevator. Open up. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to sound demonic myself. Not good. Not good for anybody. I Get saw it. a wheelchair on the ground floor. It's comfortable there, and we can put Charlotte somewhere warm. There you go. There's Charlotte your stupid chair. Comfy here. Enjoy it. But it's cold. No, no, it's Fuck cold. Fuck you, you stupid doll. That Don't took forever. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. It'll go away. You're not shiver. She's not shivering. If a damn doll is shivering, I, I, I don't like that. That's like human traits. We're just gonna push the doll around. We've definitely gone mental. Let's take Charlotte to the surgical ward. The lights will warm her up. The cold is gonna warm. Oh, here we go. It is right. I'm, I'm glad because I was totally the lost. Light, the warmth. We can do it. The cold will go. It's away. a doll. It has to. 
You are loco. Like seriously now loco. Into the ward where everything started. It all began in the observation ward on the ground. You're telling me I gotta go back to the ground floor, huh? Do I leave the doll? Good. Holy hell. Thank you. I cannot handle that doll anymore. No, no, no. No, no. Please close. Cool. Peace out, doll. See you never again. Hopefully. Oh, here we go. That's a super bright. The fuck? Oh, it's one of those never ending hallways. I see how you're gonna play this. I see how this is gonna go. I've seen this trick a few times. This isn't nothing new. I know this trick. It's the hallway that never ends, right? <gasps> There's a drop. Whoa, am I on the ceiling, the floor, or what? Whoa, bonkers AF, bro. Whoa, trippy AF. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. I have not a goddamn clue. Oh, wow. What the fuck? game is bizarro. I mean, for the price, you know what? I guess it's worth it. I guess it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Go into the light. The town of light. The insane, the insane asylum. The insane asylum of the light, more like. This is a long okay, journey. I turned off the light. But it didn't go dark. Why wouldn't the light? It was a limitless immensity. A blinding, merciless light. That's why, then. Makes sense. I was it doesn't. That's total bullshit. And I was afraid. Always afraid. Really? A fear that wore me down. You're terrified of a light? Most people are terrified of the dark. This chick's t terrified of the light. She's just, she, she's just petrified of it. Nothing scarier than being lit up. Everything. Even thinking. Like that. See, I like that. It's terrifying. I'm going to have nightmares. This is going to give me nightmares. They said they were that is quite the art style. Where the fear would go away. Where I would get better. The asylum. Right. I stopped living in there. It's an asylum. They what do you expect? Away and stripped off all my clothes. Everything. That doesn't seem normal. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed. The fuck? For days. I was alone with my nightmares. That's it not... It wasn't fear anymore. That's not it good. It madness. And this... when you're mad, you cease to exist. This game is fucked up. That's my first impressions. Two words. Fucked. Up. This game is bizarro. Oh, you were in the hospital way back when. Oh, it's B&W too. Black and white. Are we all naked? We're all naked, I think. Well, I except for the nurses, of course. The chick over there on the right. She's naked. Hello, ma'am. What's with that smile? I don't appreciate your smile. I don't. Okay. She's my only hope in this hell. I don't appreciate it your smile, but damn. Down, down among I guess it's dead. better than a grimace or something like that, that, so. Woman and her smile kept me alive. Oh no, she's fading away! No! Okay. Too bad, too sad. We lost our only friend. Do we really take a nap in this filthy, disgusting bed? Are you serious, bro? Ooh, it's nighttime now. Cool. <laughs> Get out of the damn bed. The door is locked from the outside. Is it? Here, is it? the doors can only be locked and unlocked from the outside. Is that so? 
You don't say so. Duff. Fuck. Who opened the door, though? Transfer file. Blah, 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 blah. Who opened the goddamn door? I heard that. I don't know who did it, but somebody opened the damn door, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it eventually. I say eventually because I might not. I mean, who the hell knows? Was it some freak show in here? <gasps> Dal, I knew you were behind it. I knew it. It was on the tip of my tongue, that's for sure. I was expecting it. I knew the doubt was involved in some shape or form. The fucking hell is this? What the fuck is going on, bro? Why are we all panicking? What is going on with this dinosaur stance you got there? What's with that? I don't really care, to be honest. What the fuck is... What are you taking a nap on the floor for? Out of the way. I need to get to the light. Give me my fucking doll, you motherfucker. Give me the fucking doll. Where are you... Why are you leaving with my doll? Who's behind me? Nobody's behind me. Look at this. You see this bright light? That's my future. Because my future is bright. AF. Behind me? Nah. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing yet. Really? What the fuck? Are you drowning my baby doll? No! No. Of course not. Because who would do that? Panted and slobbered all over me. It hurt me when he touched me. I thought I'd suddenly split open with a loud crack, and I would be shattered into pieces. <laughs> felt fragile, sick, dirty, degraded. All I could do was clutch Charlotte tightly while he... That's disgusting. Renee obeyed. That he is fucking disgusting. This life. game is fucked up and completely disgusting. I was being consumed by the evil act I had committed. I threw up. And could feel hell getting close That's what I feel like doing. That's literally what I feel like doing right now. I feel like throwing up. This game's stitching. disgusting. It's it's twisted. It's fucked up. It's disgusting. I mean, every word in the vocabulary you can give this game, it probably is. It's also bright as hell. Like my future. Hopefully. But yeah, guys. That's the first episode of The Town of Light. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. Subscribe if you, if you have not already. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!